OK, keep moving, keep moving. Oh, there we go. That's the way. Keep going. Keep going. Yes. Oh, hey. Oh, uh, everyone. Let's just stand still for a second. OK. Uh, it's like a scene from The Walking Dead in here. What's going on? There was a fire in a nursing home. There's no serious injuries, but a few of them are a bit shaken up and confused. And, um, we'll need to keep them calm while we're getting through triage. Uh, so why have we got weapons? Well, the day unit and the medical wards are all full, so... I'm going to start cancelling some electives. Have you seen an agency nurse that I booked for today? Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, give me one minute. And the reason I know Eleanor Campbell couldn't have made any calls between the 1st and the 28th of February is because she has been dead since January. And being somewhat preoccupied, I forgot to cancel the account. But I really don't see why she should be charged with... Yes, yes, I'm sure a copy of the certificate can be provided. Thank you. Eleanor's mobile phone company. Well, if you need any help finding them off, I'll No, 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 there's nothing I can't handle. And if you need me, it'll have to wait. I'm due in theatre. Uh, fire at a nursing home. Listen, why don't we go out for drinks tonight? Right. Evie's off on a school trip, and I, I can ask the sitter to stay late. Um, I, I've got other plans, sorry. It'd be really good for you to let your hair yeah. down, so... Might I suggest that you focus on the job in hand and get some more help down here? Well, actually, I do... Oh, Fletch, run... just do it, please, before they go all cocoon on us and start taking over the asylum. Have you got a minute? Do I look like I've got a minute? Bernie's in theatre all day. The agency nurse that's finally shown up has gone AWOL, and he's trying to sink me battleship. Just um, come with me, yeah? OK, right. One minute. What are you doing here? I slipped in the shower. I think I sprained my wrist. Are you kidding me? What about a sports camp? It's going to be lame. Oh, I don't care. I've paid for it. It's cost a small fortune. You're going to go, and you're going to enjoy it. Ow! Oh. Well, um, I can't see any inflammation, but uh, maybe we should do an X-ray just in case. Do you know what? She's probably faking. That's so out of order. OK, you can stay here. But I'm warning you, if you're pulling a fast one. OK, hopefully your results won't take too long, and then you can go to camp. Can I say hi to Serena? No, because we're very busy. But have you given it any thought to how much grief I'd be getting with Serena if she thought I was prioritising you over any other patient? No. What a nice surprise. Well, I think you're overreacting. Serena will not hold Evie being here against you. Have you spoken to her? She makes it seem like the hunt sound reasonable. <laughs> anyway, it's not just that. I just don't want to be insensitive. After everything she's been through with Eleanor... Serena won't begrudge Evie being there just because of Eleanor. She's putting on a brave face, but I don't want to run the risk of upsetting her. Yes, who knows what she might do. Evie's X-ray results, no sprains, no fractures, and no signs of inflammation. She's been having you on. I suggest we have a word with her. That's if you can trust me not to break down and start self-harming in front of her gurney. But why lie? I didn't. I really thought it was sprained. No. This is just a ploy to get out of going to camp, right? You've been moaning about it all week, so what's the problem? Nothing. Well, then I don't get it. Why are you wasting our time like this? You might want to calm down, Nurse Fletcher. We don't want to raise the blood pressure of our many elderly patients. Just talk to me, Evie. What's the matter with your back? Nothing, it's fine. No, it's not. Let me look. No! How about I take a look? Hmm? Why are you wearing a... Do you need to wear one? Can we please not do this? Yeah. Oh, if, I mean, I've got patience, huh? Sorry, Evie. So have I. Just, just a minute. Um, yeah, uh, as soon as you came to the Blythewood Sports Centre, please. Cheers. I take it you've got to the bottom of Evie's problem? Well, you've seen her x-ray. There's nothing wrong with her. 
Daughter of a senior staff nurse who knows better than to waste NHS time is desperate enough to invent an injury so she can avoid a school trip and you think there's nothing wrong? It doesn't take Sherlock Holmes to work out that it's probably linked to the fact that she's growing up in every department. Uh, you think I should cancel the trip? Well, no, but you might want to start by cancelling the cow. I'll talk to her. Do you want me to come and help? With no, the... no, you're needed here. Morgan said something about disappearing dentures. Oh, they're mine. Huh. Probably more your comfort zone. Hello. Right, young lady, as there is nothing wrong with your wrist, I would like to have a go at suturing. Very good. Try to go in a bit more cautiously with this next one. Slowly wins the race. So, uh, why the reluctance to go on this trip? I thought getting a bra would make him look bigger. The other day, I was getting changed for PE. Susie Mitchell, she's a smug cow who likes stirring up. She saw my bra and told everyone. You know, Eva's as fat as a pancake and reckons they need support. Tragic. Now, everyone thinks I'm a joke and they're all gonna be there. I suppose this girl's got the body of a Kardashian. All six form boys fancy her. No more for them. What about Cara Delevingne? Or Kate Moss, there's a hottie. Flat as a pancake, hasn't stopped her being at the top of her game for years. In any case, you know, what you're wearing at the moment is just a bit too tight. You need something that fits properly. And don't worry, Mother Nature will take its course. I was a late developer, as was Eleanor. Dad told me she died. You must miss her loads. I do, I do. Yeah, it's just little things, you know. Um, private jokes, Tony, she understood. Texting to say goodnight, that sort of thing. I text my mum sometimes, when I feel lonely. I know she can't read them, but it helps, and I, I don't know why. You must especially miss her at times like this. Yeah. I can't really talk to Dad about this stuff. <laughs> you wouldn't want him taking your bra shopping, would you? <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> That's something neither of us could deal with. His face earlier. Anyone would think I'd lifted your top to reveal a giant tattoo. <laughs> that would get his attention. No, I don't you go getting any ideas. <laughs> Very good. I'll have you performing laparoscopic appendectomies in no time. I bet Susie Mitchell couldn't do that. Listen, if you really don't want to go on this trip, I'll get the cab driver to take you on. No, it's OK. I want to go. Sorry for messing up your day. You could never do that. And about the other thing, I... Um... Can we please not go there? Auntie Serena's going to take me shopping. Oh, right, OK. Well, uh, well, you don't really need me then, do you? Of course I do. Have fun at camp, darling. Cheers, mate. Oh, sorry, I didn't know you were in here. No, 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 I'm not. It's, and Morven is really deep in a Game of Thrones box set, and I. Just, you know, I didn't want to spend another night watching it, so... You want a double? Hmm? Oh, uh, um... Uh, no. Trouble in Paradise? Something like that. Come on, pull up a pillow. <laughs> we can be tragic losers together. Oh, this is not my first rodeo. <laughs> oh, Mr Valentine. They went. <clears throat> when? Oh, brilliant. Thanks. Cheers. <laughs> 